This is DC Shane Tours. I'm one of the great U.S. soldiers near Men's National Cemetery here in Washington, D.C. It contains both war dead from the Civil War over there, and then um, uh, we have Buffalo soldiers, Spanish American War soldiers, and veteran burials all today. Today, and um, today I'm here to talk about a mausoleum a famous Civil War general and Washingtonian named John Alexander Logan. He rests here with his family. And uh, he gave the uh, Memorial Day order and everything, famous for a lot of things. And um, I want to let you know I am a you know, pretty professional researcher. I, I was involved in a 1898 Spanish-American War documentary. I've been down to the National Archives downtown. I pulled old 1898 military regimental books and looked at them. And uh, I've been involved in Library Congress looking up documents and, and photographs and stuff. And I'm a pretty sharp ar archivist and, and researcher. And uh, I've gone kind of, you know, amateur by myself. And um, I've come down here and uh, done a lot of history on this cemetery and mausoleum. And uh, one night, as I'm always usually do is I'm at the Library of Congress looking at pictures and stuff and you can you can look at this picture I'm about to show you is you go to the LOC Library of Congress loc.gov and punch in Logan and mausoleum and you'll we'll see a picture of his mausoleum come up and uh, because there's no glare on it but there it is same, same mausoleum it's done in Norman Cathedral style. Everybody knows about this picture. Like I said, it's on the Library of Congress website. And uh, sorry, old phone. And um, one night I was uh, looking at the at the back of it, and I was saying, I see something in the back of that. You see that? Better when you pull up the picture. But you see, I'm in the front of it. I'm not in the back of it. You see, I'm in the front. There's the, the front door and everything. So I'm looking at there, and I'm seeing, man, there's some kind of structure with columns down in, in in the valley down there behind it but i know I, i've been going here for years so i knew that there was that there was nothing nothing down there i was like uh, but you know I, i've i've seen those those columns before and you know if you're down here you know where those columns are they're right there at the corner at the gate of the thing there and so you're saying, well, what's remarkable about that, Craig? Is well, I'll tell you why. Is because this picture, and we all know it. If you look in the LOC.gov, this picture um, of this mausoleum is is in 1888. John Logan died in 1886, but it was sudden. He died of a sudden disease, um, December 26. It was sad, 1886. So they stored his remains in the Hutchinson Vault on the other side of the street in Rock Creek Cemetery, a private cemetery for two years. And then they brought out the, the, the Grand Army of the Republic, they had soldiers there, soldiers there, and they transported his remains in a grand procession in 1888 and put them in this nice mausoleum. And that's what this picture is. You can look at the dirt on the ground. It's just built. The Library of Congress dates it at 1888. You know, so we know that, that 1888, and but it's showing those columns behind that and you're still saying well still what's what's different about that what's so significant about that Craig? it's because they're they trying to tell me that it uh that these columns have been at this column since is at this corner since day one all if you go up if you pull up the the pdf on that the, the national park service says Oh, this was, the, the columns were installed by 1883 by Montgomery Meggs, and he made the gate and everything, and blah, blah, blah. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Because how could, the, the, if those, how could those columns be up there in 1883 when they're behind this in 1888, five years later? See what I'm saying? So what did they do? Dismantle them, move them down for five years, then dismantle them and put them back? No. That don't make no sense. So what I've, in my research, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to prove it all the way, is what they're doing is they're confusing two subjects, two things that Montgomery Meggs did. Um, is he did build the, a gate 
there. It, he built a little two stone thing and a little tiny iron gate, you know, that came in. And then he built what we call a rostrum or a gazebo. You can find one if you go to uh, Gettysburg, pull up uh, Library of Congress, same website, pull up Gettysburg Gazebo. They got one there. It's uh, ivy all over. They're, they're famous for, for military cemeteries, a place to have little functions on, on um, holidays and stuff in cemeteries. And so that's what Megs did right down the bowl. You know, if you're down here, the lay of the land, that that's an, there used to be a creek down there too. It was way down a hill. If you see, you know, if you see the, 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 the picture, if you look at the, the, the picture, the columns come to about right there. So if you put them right there, they were right there where that bench is down there. That's where I placed them. So um, that Montgomery Biggs built the, 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 the gate, in 1883 and then he built a gazebo rostrum in 1883 and there then the problem is the national park service and all experts are confusing the two things and so look at the picture it proves it and then so what happened they were there for like 45 years or so and then in 1930 they had to completely redo harewood road and rock creek church road down there they, they paved everything they put a light they closed the gate at Rock Creek Cemetery, moved the main gate way up there. You can see that from the pictures. I've looked at all the maps from 1850 to today. I know the lay of the land. I know what I'm talking about. And then in 1930s, too, what they did is, if you see, of course, these have been repaved. But in 1930s, they, they came in and they, they made all these nice roads and they, they paved them. You know, we, we moved away from macadam, macadam roads, you know, gravel roads to, to paved roads. And they put in, you know, 1930s when everything changed. So in the 1930s, when they did all the paving, they obviously had to move it out of the way or whatever. And so that's in 1930s. My theory, and I'm going to prove it, is, is in the 1930s, they dismantled the columns and the rostrum, did all the paving. And someone said, well, you know, and it's true. You can't see those columns. Look how far down they are. If you're up on the road, you, you wouldn't be able to see the columns. And someone said, that's, that's a shame. Let's, let's, let's take those columns and incorporate them to the gate and put them up there. And those people are unnamed. I don't know. They're, I've looked up. There's, there's hardly any pictures. There's hardly any documentations of what happened in the 1930s of them doing all this work so i don't even know that uh, you know did this but i do know that in, in, they were down here in 1888 and then sometime between 1888 and 1930 and it's got to be 1830s they put them up there and now they're the prominent thing you know when you come down the road you see those things they boom they pop out so that's why someone someone put them out and um montgomery megs got those columns by the way from the u.s patent office building fire in 1871 and they lie, lay it laid around somewhere in some yard uh, and uh, before he reused them he was a, he was a thrifty guy he reused everything so i'd suggest please go to loc.gov and pull up logan's mausoleum and look in the back of that picture and tell me what is in the back of that mausoleum is it those columns are, are those columns there down there in that bowl in 1888 which they are pictures are worth a thousand words as they would say then that then we got to re the nps has got to rewrite the things and say craig gillette in in 2023 and 24 um, rewrote the text through books and and made the history right that montgomery megs built a rostrum gazebo out of those columns down there in 1883 about five years before his death and then um 1883, 18, like three years before his death. And then, because yeah, he was in retirement, he came out and did all this stuff. And then, uh, around um, 1881, 1883, um, it was built down there. And, and in the 1930s, the columns were moved and put up there, and the roads were all paved and everything. And so, I'm making history, folks. Logan Mausoleum Library Congress died columns are down there. Thank you.